YouTube, what's up guys? Hey, hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're gonna be working on the Lotus. We're gonna finally mount that front Exige clam on my 2006 Lotus Elise. Currently it's just sitting on there, so it looks really good, but it's actually not mounted. Um, and the reason that I don't have it permanently mounted yet is because you can actually see all the wires back in there and I don't have a shroud on. And so I just bought this shroud recently, $300. I painted it gloss black, it looks beautiful but we need to pull the Exige clam, the headlights, set it on the side, mount that, and then we'll set the Exige clam back on and we'll button it all up. So today is the day that if you wanna know how to button up an Exige front clam to your uh, Lotus Elise, this is gonna be the how-to. So I'm really, really excited. And I might even get a drive to pull it out of the driveway today. Um, the battery is dead on this thing again, but maybe I'll get a drive to get it. So the first thing you need to do, or we're gonna need to do, is just pull out the headlights. I don't have them mounted. We'll just pull each one out, set them aside, and then I will grab the clam like I had before. Oh, we'll move the access panel too. So, so set those aside, and then we'll just pull the clam outwards. Um, again, it just the clam just kind of sits on like this. Um, the top part goes further, and then there's like a little hook where it goes down below. Not very hard, um, and it'll actually just all come towards me. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Oh, and just like that, we're done. So that didn't take very much, honestly three minutes to do that, it's not very hard. You can do that too. Um, when you're pulling up though, try to make sure to look, lift the hooks up high enough to get it over that clearance on each side. There's a clearance right here, you gotta do that on each side. Um, once you get that off, now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grab this and see if it fits on this. Um, Cause that this is where we're gonna have it sit. So I gotta find, um, I think, oh look it does fit. Oh, and it even has mounting holes. Wow! Oh my gosh, that makes me happy. So, um, you guys see those little mounting holes right there? Perfect. So we're just gonna find some bolts and bolt that up, bolt that up, and then, oh my gosh, $300, but really, really worth it. Um, you can't see any more of those wires, so I'm really happy I did that. Okay, so I mounted this piece. I used a Phillips head right there, and then another Phillips head right there. To hold it, now it should be held. Um, now I think the, this is gonna mount to the back of the clam. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm technically done. As long as I have all my wires that are able to be reached by um, when I have the, the clam off, I think I'm actually gonna remove the wheels currently right now so that I have some nice area to work with. So let's go ahead and pop these wheels off, set them aside. I love these wheels. I think they're called Super Leggera, kind of like the uh, Lamborghini. I can't remember what they're called, but they're really nice. Okay, so the wheels are off on both sides. Um, this is gonna be a mounting spot, this will be a mounting spot, this will be a mounting spot. This is an Exige, and I'm gonna do a video for this, all the expensive parts you have to buy. This is an Exige hinge cover is what they call that. Um, we're gonna use a mounting spot right here. Uh, so you guys can see it, we're gonna use a mounting spot right here. These will be for the It'll connect, but it's not gonna support really, to be honest, this is kind of just a cover. Um, there is a tray thing that mounts underneath here. I never looked if mine had it. I don't think I'll have run mine, but usually the Exige mounts right there. There's a big little tray thing. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and do that on the other side again. So mounting point here, mounting point inside here. Uh, one, two, three. Then it'll come all the way under, and then the rest of the stuff is just gonna be underneath pretty much, um, and that's that's about it. It's not it's not gonna, it's, it's there's not a ton of mounting points on it. It really just sits, sits on like a glove. Um, and especially, you know, it, it's really tight fit, so I don't, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and I'll feel pretty confident with those. Those are pretty much all the original mounting points, so I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think it's gonna be missing any. The only one that I'm really missing is gonna be this top middle one, I think. I, I don't think mine has that. I never looked, but I don't think it, it'll, I think you have to get an adapter for it. Um, and I didn't buy it. Okay, so this is gonna be the final. Um, this is how it'll be. So I actually got it to fit a little bit really well up on these ones. Let's look here, I'll show you guys. So that's really good fitment. Um, and then I believe, yeah, see right here? The, that will mount up underneath there, so it'll connect to this, so that part goes. And then look at the difference. It, it, it's absolutely worth it. You can't argue that. You can't see any of those wires anymore. I know it was expensive and it sucked, but absolutely worth it to have that all filled in. And so I'm thankful I did that. Um, and that looks a lot, lot better. Way better in my opinion. So much more complete. So I've actually been watching my own YouTube video, hilarious, to remember how I removed 
So that's a very good video, very helpful. So this one's very helpful as well. So I've slid the clam back on. You guys can see all the mounting points are really good. So I'm gonna be using these ones, these two right here, these Allen ones, and I'm gonna be uh, pushing the clam back and then, and then using the washer and tightening it on. And I'm gonna start there and then do the other one over there. Um, and I think that'll hold it in place. And then um, I think it's a pretty good fitment once I push it all the way back a little bit. So it'll get a perfect fitment. And I know there's some shims and some uh, little things you have to do to get a really good alignment, but I think that these two main bolts first are important. Okay, so um, you can see kind of the OEM look now starting to come back, which I really like. So um, these are OEM Allen key. There's one right here. I use this backing right here, which Lotus comes with a ton of these. Um, it's a backing that slides onto it, followed by that the pretty looking, I don't know where I put the other one, but the pretty, not the uglier one like this, but an actually aesthetic one. So in case you do remove the access panels, you'll see this more OEM look, which Lotus loves to use those. Um, so I've done one and two there, and then I've done one over there, and I'll do, now do the following one. And then this is not as flimsy as it was. So now we're getting some mounting points on there. So let's continue that across. Wow, that is so, 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 so much more complete. I just had to buy it. I know it was $300, but you have to have that if you don't have it. Um, Exige, I don't know what they call this, Exige cover, some plastic cover. Uh, but I mounted one here, so the Allen wrench there. I mounted one here. This is for the clam. Then I did a Phillips head screwdriver there, which is black, so you can't even notice it, which I think looks really good. Uh, one right here, one right there, and then um, the one for the clam there, and then the Phillips head there. So that's what I've done so far, kind of bolt by bolt is what I'm trying to do for you guys. Um, it's looking really OEM. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, and I think I have to go to the store, because I believe, I think I used them all. I don't know where I put them, where did I put them? So these right here, so you guys see these? Um, I think I'm out of these, uh, so I'm gonna have to go buy them. And then, um, so let's go to, I think I wanna go to the store, because I only have three of them, and I know that I'm gonna need more of them, and this clam didn't come with it. And what these are gonna do is they're gonna sit right here, they'll slide up on there, um, which I'm gonna try not to scratch any of that paint, because that is professionally painted. And then that will hold the uh, Exige axis panel in place. Um, I was just thinking though, that you will always be able to see um, inside of here from the cockpit, I think, because the Exige panel is gonna sit up here, so you'll be able to see kind of down in there. Um, but now that I have the, the this cover right here, it won't let as much light in there, so maybe it won't be as visible. Um, but I know earlier when I had no cover here, all the light just like went right through in there, and as you sat in the cockpit, you could actually see like down in there, so I didn't like that at all. So I'm, I, again, I'm just trying to justify this but because <laughs> it's so expensive, but I do think it is really good. Um, and it has six mounting points for that. <clears throat> all right guys, it's been uh, about a week or so, um, but I was able to finally get the um, access panels mounted. I used the Greg's hardware. So this is from Greg's Racing Parts. Um, I actually, the reason it took me so long, I actually ran out of these re retainer spring clips right here. Um, and I had to order these all the way from um, England. So it took like a week or two weeks to get here, but I finally got them. And I needed those little clips to use for the Lotus to mount that slid in behind here. So I slid those on, those little clips, and then mounted these and got both access panels complete. So that's how I reinstalled those. It looks very professional, very OEM. I really like the look of it. Um, looks mint. Um, I love that I painted this. So I did paint this right here. This doesn't like this. It looks um, more of like a dull plastic, but I painted it the same color as the radiator. And now the radiator and this and that all looks together looks very OEM. Now, you do see some light coming through here. You won't be able to once I get the um, the splash shields or the, um, the fender liner installed. Um, but right there, that looks really, really, really good. A lot better than my Lotus Elise clam, in my opinion. So this will probably be the hardest part of uh, reinstalling the clam. Um, and it's to get a nice line. That'll be the, the hardest part. Um, you guys can see my handprints are all over the new paint. Um, so original paint and then new paint. I can't even tell the difference. I don't know if you guys can. Looks the exact same. They did a really good job with it. Um, so we're gonna come on inside here. And as you guys can see, I think one's a 10 millimeter and one's a 12 millimeter. And then they put these things that are called shims and they shim it right between so they can get a good fitment to do that. So I'll go ahead and grab the shims and I will grab my um, 10 millimeter so that we can get a nice flush fitment on there. And uh, after we do that one, 
Um, I'm not sure if I did that one first or second, but if I did, I'm actually gonna come up here real quick. And before I do that one, uh, oh, and then I wanted to say, look, the um, Xyz clam actually works with the oil cooler line. That actually, those all mounted up right in there. That, I thought that was kind of cool, like original. Uh, and then here's all the wires that are gonna go into the headlights. And then the headlights, I'll just mount right here. I haven't done those either yet. But um, the one thing I, I did wanna say is it's a really big deal. Make sure that when you open your door, that everything kind of doesn't pinch. So you might you might have to move stuff a little bit forward and have it kind of finger loose so you can move everything a little bit forward. But you really don't want to make it pinch. And you guys can see it's a pretty close fit right there, but it doesn't touch. And then um, once you have the door fully open, the last, I think the first one that I should do is this one right here. So I think I'll do that one because I haven't done that. It's right here, it's this guy. I haven't done that one yet. So we'll do that one um, first. All right, these look like Legos, but I did want to show you, these are all the remaining uh, bolts that I still have left over. So I have quite a few um, lugs or um, bolts for the wheels. Those are pretty common. A lot of washers. These are actually from the um, lip spoiler, which I don't have a lip spoiler yet, but I will be ordering one, but I'll probably get new one of those. So I don't know if I'll use it. These are for the sensors um, for the access panels, which I don't think I'll be using. Um, these are probably I don't know if I'll be using these spring clips. Those are the new spring clips that I bought. Um, and then here are the shims. These are what shims look like. These little things, and you can see what it does. It just makes a space, so the more you need it. And actually, believe it or not, I think once I'd had like eight of them, and once I'd had like three or four, so it's kind of, they're all over the place, uh, Lotus was. But these are gonna be the two Allen bolts um, right here that I'm gonna be using that to mount up this part right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide those in. I might need my girlfriend and her little hands to do that. Um, but I'm gonna put these in now, and then once we get those in, I'll put the shims and mount that, and then I'll go down below and tighten the final ones. In addition, I will tighten this final one fully. I'm trying to make this as easy for you guys as possible. Can you guys see there? So there's my Allen key. That's what I'm turning right there. And then if you look really close here, you can see the bolt. See the bolt, and now it's getting tightened against the frame i guess of the, the 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 frame of the car so that's what we're doing right now so we'll do that and get that fully tight and then the front clam will be pretty much mounted on all the top okay quick recap i did the allen bolt right here this this guy i did that one with this key put that tighten that there did um the three for the axis panel and then mounted um the uh what is this thing called, the axis panel cover thing. I did the screws there, and then I did the clips into the, um, the actual uh, clam. Then I did the clam, the, the clam underneath here, and the clam underneath here. So I think that there's six bolts on the top of this so far, holding the top part of the clam in, that's a lot. Then, I came down here, and this is my biggest one to get good fitment. Look at that fitment. Mitch, you're a pro, bro. bro. Look at that. That's a really good one. So I'm in love with the fitment. I think everything looks really flush. And oh yeah, look at that line. It's factory. Um, and it's an exige. And then I wanted to show you guys here. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. But I did the two. There's a 10 millimeter and another 10 millimeter. I did the two right there. You guys see those? I did a washer on the outside and then I did a bunch of shims. There you go. Those shims. See those shims right there? I had to use those shims to get this flush body line between this panel and this panel and it is absolutely let's grab that light perfect it's perfect that looks great look at that line right there so um now what i need to do and i, I just wanted to say for me to do this i actually had to loosen the two 10 millimeter hinge covers and the one on the inside as well so now since i got a good fitment i'm gonna go ahead and tighten all those up since we're, um, we have everything tightened back up, since we're trying to make everything look factory and OEM, and remember this is an Exige, not an Elise, pretty cool, an Exige. Put this little uh, plastic cover back in, just like that, you guys see that? And then you're gonna use these little um, Phillips heads uh, plastic keepers, there's two of them, so let's go ahead and put those. Look how OEM that looks, it looks brand new. So I went over it with a little bit of um, uh, armor roll, a little bit of cleaner wipe. Mitch, that looks good, buddy. So um, again, that's how you do that, those two little, so there's a 10 millimeter underneath there and then two um, little, I don't know what those are called, keeper clips, plastic clips. Um, those hold that little cover on. That looks OEM and fantastic. And now actually, believe it or not, we're able to actually close the door and I believe we're done with this side. 
and yeah, that looks great. So I am going to leave the side marker off for this video because I'm going to do um, ones that I got that are special, and if you guys want them too, I'll show you where the link are, but I'm going to leave those off. Um, and then now I'm going to go around and actually button up on this side. Before we go to the other one, I'm going to put the headlights on, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and I'll show you how to put the Exige headlights on. So for the headlights, I had to come with like this little uh, custom, as you guys can see right there, this little custom setup. Uh, I used washers that came with the car, but the nut, that I, the black one right there, I did not have. I just um, went through my bucket of bolts that I had and used one. I don't know what size uh, the, the um, pitch is, but it's an eight millimeter, and that's what held the headlight. Now there's four, one, two, three, four, and I use all those to hold it tight. Um, you guys can see the wires coming off of the headlight here and then um, I think these are all connected with wires all inside here it's actually an encased housing so water doesn't get in there and then um, I'm gonna plug this in right now um, into the wire harness the OEM one right there and then I'll plug this top one right here into the other wire harness down there and we'll call it good um, so uh, now I can go and once I have that all done um, I'll be able to put the splash shields back one thing that I do recommend is I use a zip tie right up here uh, use a zip tie to hold all the wires like bunched up there instead of having dangle and maybe getting caught by the wheel. I do recommend that um, factory, they use zip ties too. So that's from factory, that line right there. So actually, I don't think that one's from factory. I take that back. But a lot of times car make manufacturers do use zip ties from factory. So it is what it is. Um, I like that looking all bunched up and clean up there. I think that I'm going to need different um, mud flaps, but I'm not. Bam, just like that. Look how clean that is. So I clean that. Um, this is the fender liner. It's really simple. I remember when I removed it, I said it's pretty simple. All you really have to do, let me see if I can set this right over here, um, is pull on it, it'll pop out. Uh, there's these two push clips here, a push clip there, and then a push clip there. Uh, put those on, and then a push clip here. So there's three, uh, three that are holding it. Now mine did have some screw, oops, mine did have some screws up here. Um, I didn't re-put those on. I don't know, those didn't seem OEM, so I just did the three mounting points here. Um, there might be more. Now, one of the things that I am missing on my car is a mud flap. So I'll have to buy Xige mud flaps here soon, and then I'll have to put those in, and I'll end up putting those in. All right, just like that, I'm all done. So, um, push pins down there. Um, there is a large screw uh, with a washer. I don't know what that's from. I don't, know, I don't think that's original, but maybe it is. Uh, maybe the previous owner did that. So the three push pins, um, the two push pins back here, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So. Um, that's it. Everything's in there. The fender well's in there. It looks OEM again. Uh, looks really, really good. Um, the next thing to do on this side is I will be doing, like I said, the the uh, side marker soon. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel back on and call it a, call call it a day on this side. Do it on the other side and then put the car down. So I've been at this for quite a while. Um, I would say set aside five to six hours to do this. So quite a while, five to six hours, maybe even seven. Um, the reason that this took me a really long time was because I didn't have those. I need more of those spring clips for the access panels. Um, and some of the hardware I was missing. You're going to need a little bit more hardware than what comes with the Lotus uh, Elise for the Lotus Exige. Um, the main thing that I needed more of was with those spring clips. Everything else kind of really buttoned right up. My, I do need um, mud flaps uh, for the um, Exige because uh, I don't have those. Um, and you guys can see there's actually a little bit of a... Uh, area that's unprotected, um, which would get eaten up really quick. So I definitely need to get some of those mud flaps. I will look for those. Um, I put the wheel back on. Um, I tightened it, you know, hand tight. The car on this side is ready to go down. Um, one of the things though, I do, I will be doing this on a new video. I will be doing the front badge on a new video. Um, I do want to make sure the headlight works. So we'll go ahead and turn the headlight on. Um, this headlight does have a scratch, so I need to buff that one off. The other one's perfect. So technically, I finished one side completely, which is that side. As you see, the car has actually been flipped around. I didn't film it. It was actually raining really heavily outside and I didn't film it. Uh, but I backed the car out and then brought it back in um, with the nose coming in this way uh, so that I have more room to work on over So that I have more room over here to install and complete this side of the clamp. Uh, it looks beautiful. Look at that. Uh, with the quick rain, then I just dried it off. Look how immaculate that looks. This thing is so shiny. This looks like a show car right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. So I'm absolutely in love with this car. It looks amazing. Um, future, I think I'm gonna maybe put some side skirts on it. I definitely need a lip. Um, so I'll probably do an APR lip to match the APR wing and then the carbon, um, the carbon intake, but wow. So let's go ahead and uh, 
put the car back up on jack stands on this side and uh, but remove the wheel, button this up, and then um, finish this video. And if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I'm willing to help you, um, help you install this if you guys are doing the Exige clam um, on the uh, Elite. So this headlight on the Exige actually came with this. You guys see this right here? It's like these little, and they're actually metal, um, but that's how they screwed these on. I use my own little custom nut and washer, but these are pretty cool. I might use them on this side. Uh, this Exige headlight is like nearly brand new, and then that one actually came with the clam. Both of them are used, um, but only one of them came with this. I was, I was wondering how, how I was gonna fasten those down. So I used a nut and washer. I might actually just use a nut and washer on this side too to be all the same around. So I'll probably do that. But these are pretty cool, especially since they're metal. So for continuity, um, just continuous to be the same. I actually did use my same setup, which is uh, um, a nut and then a washer and a nut and a washer, and I use that here, 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 and here, all four of those. So the headlights, it's in really tight. Um, now what we're gonna do, again, is plug these in and then um, buckle them up. Again, and I did wanna show you, I am able to use the OEM uh, oil cooler line, so these are pretty cool. So I did buckle that up. All right, once again, 10 millimeter here with the shims on the uh, driver's side and then the 10 millimeter in the back right there and then followed by the 10 millimeter down here and then the other one and then the 10 millimeter in the door and then the allen one right inside of here all done with that um, everything's kind of buttoned up i did click those back in i did use a zip tie to hold the wires back up um, everything's pretty much done this side is really clean by the way it's already pretty clean in my opinion um, so now what i'm gonna do is go grab the uh, plastic just like that i got a mint lotus elise turbo look at that all mint all done that looks perfect so yep, we're all done just like that. Wow, looks awesome. Just like that, that's how you mount a front clam for the Exige. I think I did a pretty good job step by step. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below. I just really wanted to show you guys, you know, this is a final product, this is what it looks like. Perfect fitment, perfect, absolutely perfect. Again, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below, I'm here to help you. I hope this video is on YouTube for a very long time because no one does this. I mean, this is a really hard one to do bolt by bolt. Um, how to reinstall the Exige or Elise front clam. My honest opinion, reinstalling it like three, four, five times easier than removing it. It was a big learning curve to remove it and find everything, but um, putting it back on there and mounting it, it went on really smooth, really perfect. Everything fits great, so it wasn't very hard at all. Um, I, I, it's not that hard of a job, to be honest. Just time consuming, uh, it took me about six hours total, maybe a little bit more, maybe even seven hours total, but I got it done, looks good. Uh, lots of more Lotus content to come, tons. So I, I purposely left off a lot of things because I wanna make good content and uh, just put the, channel, the car on the channel as much as I can. But if you found this helpful, if you enjoyed this content, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.